Why do some people think it's okay to cut the life of others short? Our communities are no safer, and a murderer could be watching his would-be victim just waiting for that unfortunate moment to strike. In this video, we will be seeing the person who murdered Eliza Fletcher. What was his reason for killing her? Make sure you watch until the end to find out more about this monster that decided to cut the happy life of Eliza Fletcher. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the exciting videos we post regularly. Also, hit the bell icon to get you notified each time we post a new video. After weeks of painstaking collection of evidence in trying to understand the circumstances surrounding Mrs. Eliza Fletcher's abduction and possibly bringing the culprit to face justice, the autopsy of the 34-year-old schoolteacher has finally been released. The Memphis-based runner set out on September 2nd for her usual pre-dawn walkout using the same route she uses every day for her run, but little did she know she would be running her last. A week after she disappeared during her routine workout, members of her community came together to complete Eliza's last run symbolically. Over 2,100 participants registered to run Fletcher's route in their tag, Let's Finish Liza's Run. A local news site, The Daily Memphian, published her obituary describing her as a light to those who knew her. It reads, Her contagious smile and laughter could brighten any room. Liza was pure of heart and innocent in ways that made her see the very best in everyone she met. With such a beautiful soul, she doesn't deserve the treatment and murder at the hands of her captors. But who was behind her killing? According to the autopsy report, it was stated that autopsy examination revealed a perforating gunshot wound at the back of her head. Again, the West Tennessee Regional Forensic Center report stated, Based on all currently known available information, the cause of death is a gunshot wound and blunt force injury of the head and manner of death is homicide. A question that bothers our minds is, how did this all happen? On the day Eliza Fletcher was abducted, she headed out for her regular run at 4 a.m. using her usual route along Central Avenue near the University of Memphis. Only 20 minutes into her run, surveillance footage captured a man aggressively approaching and forcing her into a black 2013 GMC terrain car. Before that moment, Mrs. Fletcher was a passionate runner who had previously qualified for the Boston Marathon. The mom of two was also a junior kindergarten teacher at Memphis St. Mary's Episcopal School. The surveillance footage at the local theater also captured the moment she was struggling with her abductor. The struggles lasted for about four minutes while the car remained stationary in the parking lot. Her captor successfully got her to the passenger side of the car and it drove off. Fletcher's family became worried when her usual time of return passed and she didn't call back, not even a message. Their suspicion grew amid the expectation to see her come back home. It was early, and hardly many people were out to help while she was battling her captor. At about 6.45 a.m. timestamp on the footage, a passing cyclist found her phone lying on the ground near where she was abducted. Unaware of what happened on the scene about an hour before he arrived, he took the cell phone and rode to her family home to return it. After the family had received it, it became clearer that she could be in grave danger. And without further delay, Fletcher's husband called the police to alert them that she had not come home from her run. Also, the University of Memphis called the police department at about the same time Fletcher's husband did to inform it too. The police arrived at the scene at 7 a.m. and located some of Fletcher's items. At noon, the Memphis Police Department held a press conference appealing for any information to help find the missing jogger. Meanwhile, after the police appeal, her family put out a desperate plea with a $50,000 reward to anyone who could offer information to locate her and bring her home. The video statement was released to WREG with Fletcher's uncle, Mike Keeney, appealing, We believe someone knows what happened and can help. Where could her abductors take her? Why did they abduct her in the first place? Could it have been because Fletcher's family were heirs to a multi-billion dollar hardware chain fortune, making them wealthy, and the abductor wanted huge sums of cash before they would set her free? If so, then why did the murderer choose to kill Fletcher? Or maybe just because she might recognize who the person was and tell the police when she's set free. But which of these thoughts could be correct? 
The next day after the day she was abducted, which was Saturday, the U.S. Marshals located a black SUV in a citywide search matching the description of that seen in the footage. The SUV was parked near the suspect's home in Waterstone, Oak Way. But before that, the Memphis police had collected DNA samples from the championship shoes spotted by the cyclist earlier at the scene that led to the prime suspect. He was seen in the doorway and he was taken into custody after a short pursuit. It appears closer to finding the answers to the abduction of Mrs. Fletcher on Friday, but still, she has not been found. In this case, the man taken into custody, who happens to be the prime suspect, was not cooperating and seemed to leave no evidence to trail the jogger who went missing at 4.20 a.m. the previous day. Who was this suspect anyways? Could he have had a hand in Fletcher's disappearance? To find out who really murdered Fletcher, make sure you watch until the end. Hit the thumbs up to like the video. The police said in an affidavit that two witnesses, including the suspect's brother, saw him cleaning GMC terrain with a floor cleaner, the exact vehicle seen in the footage at the scene where Fletcher was abducted, and washing clothes in a sink. The police also found evidence in the vehicle that the missing jogger had suffered a severe injury in the attack. The suspect's brother, who was also charged separately with possessing materials to make heroin and fentanyl, also told the police that his brother had been acting strange since September 2nd, which was the day of the abduction. The suspect was identified as Cleotha Abstin, and the police announced that he had been charged with abduction and tampering with evidence. In two Twitter posts, the Memphis Police Department wrote, the vehicle of interest has been located, and a man who was occupying the vehicle has been detained. Eliza Fletcher has not been located. This is an ongoing investigation. Anyone with information should call Crime Stoppers at 091-528-CASH. In the other Twitter post, the police department wrote, The individual who was detained has been officially charged in connection with the abduction of Eliza Fletcher. At this point in the investigation, Cleotha Abstin, 38, has been charged with especially aggravated kidnapping and tampering with evidence. The police made further appeals for more information about Eliza Fletcher's whereabouts. An extensive search to cover a broader city perimeter was carried out by officers from an FBI Special Task Force U.S. Marshal using helicopters and all-terrain vehicles. Even so, nothing of Eliza Fletcher was found. But if the prime suspect were in custody, as the police had said, it would make it much easier to get to know her whereabouts. So why has she not been found yet? Or could another be keeping her hostage? After a fruitless search for Eliza Fletcher, there would be a beam of hope on the fourth day, which was September 5th. Law enforcement officers were combing the site near where the jogger was abducted. They searched ponds, parks, and dumpsters. At about 5 p.m. the same day, officers retrieved a body in a vacant duplex which is half a mile from the main suspect's home, Cleotha Abstin. With all evidence, we can point to Cleotha Abstin as Eliza Fletcher's killer. However, it is still for the court to decide if he is guilty of murder. Let us know what you think about Cleotha Abstin in the comments. Could he be the murderer in this case? What could have motivated him to kill harmless Eliza Fletcher if you think so? If you like this video, hit the thumbs up to like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to notify you each time we post a new video. You can also check out other exciting videos we have just uploaded in case you've missed them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.